Hey guys, what's up? This is Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I've got an exciting tip for you guys on how to better automate the pitch of all your um, drums, bass drums, hi-hats, all of that. Um, now, Reason makes this sort of easy to do in the Kong when you're programming beats MPC style, but it's also harder than it needs to be because you can't control everything that you'd like to control. And you especially, the problem is that you can't control it with a matrix, which is often how a lot of us would program our beats. Um, so think of it like this, right? Some people play in their beats by hand, and that's cool. Um, other people use a, the matrix pattern sequencer to do it. Um, and the problem is that the um, Kong only has a gate in for velocity, which is basically how hard the drum is being hit. Um, and let me just do this at a higher pitch than normal so you guys listening on a laptop can actually hear it. So that's actually all coming through at the same pitch. It's just I've got a resonator on it. Um, so what we want to do more is go like for the more modern type sound like you know just like that right uh, that's the sound everybody's trying to get these days um but the problem is that you can't right click to edit automation uh of the this section of the kong although you can do it in any of the drum modules i'll say that you can edit the pitch there but there's no way of making any useful use of the note data coming out of the matrix, which is where your beat is programmed. And that's sort of frustrating. So how can you go from taking the drum hits you have, mapping them to a pitch, and then having that automatically play so that your bass drums actually follow um, both the hits and the velocity? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that in a sec, but I'd like to invite you to take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, it really helps support the channel and grow it um, and share this information with people. It also really gives me a good insight into what you're interested in learning. Um, it's always a little hard to tell, um, so the more likes I get or dislikes on a video, I know that maybe I did a good job, maybe I did a bad job, or maybe it's just not a subject that that's that interesting to people. Um, it also helps spread the word. And another reason that it's great is uh, because it encourages people to leave comments, which I would ask you to do as well. And that really helps me kind of know um, what else you're looking for. And also often you teach me really cool things that I didn't already know about reason. So like, subscribe, leave a comment. And now let's figure out how to actually automate the pitch. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do um, is go to the uh, the mix channel or a combinator and you're going to open up the programmer portion of it um, and so you're going to take the CV input to CV1 and put it into uh, the note out of the matrix that you're working with um, and you want it in bipolar mode which means it can go up and down and so now these notes that you have here, these pitches, um, you can see this is like a C, an E, a G. It's a keyboard, and then we've got various octaves um, are mapped to uh, basically these pitches. They're going to go out through a CV gate into here, and what you're going to do is you're going to tell CV1 to modify drum 1, which is the kick drum, or you can do it with the snare, whatever, uh, the hi-hats, and you're gonna to wanna to do drum one pitch offset or drum one drum module pitch. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, so drum one pitch offset. And now when we hit play, you can, you can actually see the pitch knob moving. You'd wanna not do something totally random like this. Instead, let's reset it. Um, and we'll just go like, uh, boom. We'll just do something very simple, just a straight up chord here. Which 
Um, actually, I think we do need it in unipolar mode, sorry. Um, and let's set it to zero and 120. Oh, curses. So it, it actually is working. Um, I apologize. It's just that the gap is so small that you don't hear it. You've got to um, really split it up. Um, and it depend, it's going to depend a lot on the drum sound, but we've got three octaves of C now. So you can hear it there. It's working uh, as described, unipolar, unipolar, um, the full range here. Um, and so a lot of it's really going to have to do with just the default kick tone that you're using. Uh, let's just, you know, we can do it with a snare drum tone as well. Um, So you're going to want to obviously spend a lot more time actually figuring out what notes you want it to play, but this is a great way of uh, manipulating it. And I'd also encourage you to experiment with this when it comes to the Nurse Rex loop player, um, because like, let's just take this from Sample Magic. So you can really make um, cool, you can manipulate loops in interesting ways um, by using um, the Rex, uh, Nurse Rex with this um, to manipulate the pitch. So I hope this was helpful. Please take a sec to like and subscribe. Thank you.